Episode 6 Communication You're at a point where you're getting married. So I think we can safely assume that you already know a thing or two about communication. But what some people don't think about is that the same exact principles apply to your wedding planning. Never assume, always ask or say. Here are a few things we suggest doing in order for us to best reflect your vision for your wedding in the pictures and videos we take for you. 1. Create a mood board of 5 to 15 photos that you like. You can do this through Pinterest or just send us some photos that you feel a particular affinity for. It also helps to let us know what exactly you like about these pictures, because rather than replicating the exact photos, we try to keep the general feel and style of them in mind when we're shooting, and we want to make sure we're focusing on the correct things. 2. If you have any photos you'd like us to replicate completely, please point them out. Apart from the mood board that gives us the general idea of what you like, if you have any poses or settings you'd like us to replicate word for word, please point them out to us. We'd recommend to keep this category small as this may get in the way of shooting creatively. 3. Feel free to create a shot list, but please keep it concise. If you know for sure that you'd like to have specific photos or videos of something, please let us know. You especially want to include things that are not completely obvious, like specific pieces of decor or unexpected events, for instance, releasing butterflies at the end of the ceremony. There's no need to include obvious items like the first kiss and other core events because crowding the shot list can take attention away from other important things. We can't guarantee to get absolutely everything on your shot list, but we aim for it every time. If your shot list does turn out to be on the longer side, please highlight the absolute top things so that we know what is a priority for you. You may come across a shot list suggestion on a blog or in a magazine, but we strongly advise against using it as the idea here is to get to know you and your priorities, not somebody else's. 4. Family shot list is an absolute must. A wedding is one of those rare occasions where many family members come together, and we want to make sure that nobody gets left behind. Please think ahead of who you want to be in the pictures and how you'd like to group people. We recommend having no more than 10 to 20 groupings total. Also, please don't forget to assign a family member or a friend to help coordinate the family photo process. 5. Please fill out the survey that we send you before the wedding as it helps us to get to know you guys a little bit better. Apart from the communication between us and you, the other element in important communication is between wedding vendors, mainly your planner or coordinator, venue, DJ, caterer, and us. Although most wedding vendors we work with are superstars and we love them, occasionally vendors focus so hard on their specific task that they forget that a successful wedding happens first and foremost through collaboration. However, doing our job well as photographers and videographers very much depends on other vendors doing their job well. For example, if the DJ or the coordinator doesn't give us a heads up that the cake cutting is about to happen, we don't have a chance to properly set up lighting and make this event look the best it can possibly look in photos and videos. We can try to rely on the timeline, but even if everything is on schedule, there are often last minute changes, so to use our time optimally, we rely on the DJ or the coordinator to give us a heads up that something important is about to happen. Communication and team effort is especially important if you have us cover only photography or only videography for you and another company is doing the other service. We've sometimes run into cases where, for example, if we're doing only videography, the photographers take up all the time during the couple session and we don't have a chance to direct any shots with the couple, which negatively impacts the final video. In the reverse scenario, if we're doing photography only, we've experienced videographers literally follow the bride down the aisle and thus ending up in a lot of the walking down the aisle shots. In other words, great communication between all the key people in the wedding ensures that not only things run smoothly, but also that everything gets captured in the best possible way. To improve vendor communication, we have prepared letters with friendly suggestions to the vendors that we ask you to send to the rest of your vendor team, or if you provide us with the vendor information, we'll be happy to send the letters directly instead. To summarize, 
let's go over your communication checklist. Prepare a mood board. Prepare a must-have shot list. Prepare a family photo list. If I strongly prefer a specific video style, I will find and send a sample video to my videography team. Send out vendor communication letters to all my vendors or give my vendor information to the I Do Photography so that they can send the letters directly.